That was it there. Oh, oh, oh shit, mum. Tell you, tell you. <sighs> Didn't you hear the GPS? 600 metres. Does that look like 600 metres to you? Anyway. Heart attack. But anyway. We. Thank Christ for good breaks, eh? We'll type this address in. And sometimes with um, Google Maps, it can take you a really strange way because there's an accident somewhere. It updates in real time. So you'll be thinking, why is this taking me this way? And then you'll hear there's a big accident on the freeway or some shit like that. Anyway, in this case, it was taking us an extreme long way. And I was thinking, this can't friggin' be right. There must be a rollover on the freeway or something. And anyway, all of a sudden here on the news, update, this freeway's a bit slow. But whatever you do, don't go on this street. And I thought, well, that's the one we're on. Why is it taking us this way? And then I checked, and I'd actually typed in the wrong address. It was supposed to be Narang Cornish Road instead of just Narang Street. <sighs> I have trouble getting in and out of this car, you know that, don't you? We use Google Maps because it updates in real time. Yeah. Sometimes you're driving down the freeway and it'll tell you to go a strange way. And why is it telling? And then all of a sudden it'll say on the radio, big accident on the freeway. So it lets you know straight away. Oh. Anyway, we typed in this address. I'm thinking, <laughs> and towards Southwood. Oh. And this is the oh, worst possible the traffic. The there must be an accident or something. Why is this taking me this way? It couldn't possibly take me a worse way than it said on the radio. Oh, this freeway's a bit slow. Whatever you do, don't go to Smith Street. <laughs> So I checked the address and I went to Narang Street rather than Narang Broadbridge oh, Street. So we're going into Southport. Narang Broadbridge Road. Oh. So Tony, they're on the rise again. Uh -huh. um, this they're is the first we've seen this summer. It's only a little one. He's right there. Mm -hmm. There is a light on the left at that. Yeah, he's a hatchling green tree snake. And there will be a the yard around here. There'll be lots and lots of them. Yeah. That's it. Probably Brooke is out of the car now walking because I told her to look. Because when you get one inside the building like this, you go around the gardens, oh, he's very, very lethargic. You go around the gardens, and you can probably find 20 of these. Oh, okay. And as you know, they can get in through a gap, one third their yeah. girth, and there's just next to no girth to this guy's. The smallest gaps you can get in. We had one upstairs yesterday, which we caught, yep. and we did put one of the boys down the other end.